Hosting a podcast about leadership on the Clapper app through the ACES has been amazing. I've transformed my thinking and my thought process, and my goal is to do it for everyone else. Now, check out what the feedback people have given me about the first up and coming episode. Go ahead, ATB. Thank you, Tyler. A leader does take charge, and those are moments you have to be a leader. So thank you for pointing that out. Go ahead, ATB. I thought this was great. I'm actually really excited to just hear other people's perspectives and other people's like ideas of leadership and hearing all the different um, you know answers to these questions tonight was uh, very interesting. So I'm looking. <laughs> Me too. Anyone else? What are your thoughts about how we handled the discussion and how it went? For my first time being here, I loved it all. I think there's a lot of inspiring comments. Thank you, Rebel. Just, it's great. I love seeing everybody's, or hearing, I should say, not seeing, hearing everybody's opinions and what they feel. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Peace and love. I absolutely love it. I think it was very educational and inspiring. So. A single mom journey. I think it was a great um, preface to what you're going to roll out in January. And I think that because there's so many people in different areas of their life, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful place to be every I'm excited. Even though I may have learned it and now teaching it doesn't mean I can't keep learning. So I'm excited to learn too. Um, but before you guys head out, make sure you go to uh, weeklyleaders.com and look over the lesson plan. I will be publishing things there ahead of time. So um, this way you guys can come a little, you know, prepared to what you want to say or what you want to expect. Um, but yeah, I'm excited too, you guys. I appreciate all of you for sure. Mm -hmm. And in first out, maybe you and me should do a live to set that thing up. And I've been pinned it to my yes. Yeah, we'll chat in the DMs about that, Tyler, for sure. Yeah, okay. Can anyone hear me? I can. After listening to all of this, one of the questions I have concerning leadership is everyone wants to talk about the different leadership skills they use. But one of the questions I have is what about leadership leading by having people respect you? I mean, I, I would think that would be one of the very first things about being a leader is gaining people's respect. And I, I'm new to all this, so I, I may be way off base, but uh, that was just one of my opinions. I appreciate it, Jim. Um, real quick, just to kind of uh, feedback off of that. So this is just kind of like what you'll say, a practice course. So we're just kind of dialoguing, just kind of getting the feels for leadership. Nothing too intense, nothing too in-depth. Um, this is kind of just a little example of what we could look forward to come January. But yes, I agree 100%. Leadership is definitely about respect. And when we go over week three, what do leaders do? I guarantee you that that will be inside of there. Respect will probably be mentioned quite often. And when we ask, what do leaders do? So I appreciate that. And I hope to see I think I saw you flashing um, Pecan, right? Or P? Peace, sorry, peace. Peace and love. Yeah, peace and love, go ahead. Uh, what, what? I'm sorry. Oh, I just saw your mic flash and I thought you wanted to say something. I want oh. to say something. Go ahead. Does anyone? Go ahead, lady. Can anybody hear me? Yes, and go ahead. Okay. So, um, I enjoyed this discussion tonight. Um, I just wanted to, um, say that the one the 
most aha moment for me was when I was in a leadership um, training class and I learned about the birds. Um, to me, that that was like my aha moment and that was the best, that like helped me. The birds is a, a style um, of leadership where you learn um, what kind of bird each person is and each kind of bird um, represents the type of person you are and once you know what type of people you're working with then you can adjust your leadership style to them and it, it at least um, for me it worked out better I haven't heard of the bird theory is it B Y R D or B I I believe it's um B I R D. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. Okay. If I find it, I'll um, DM you. Yeah, definitely. I wanna check. E Ordinary. Hmm. Interesting. So, yeah, the floor is kind of open. At the end of this, what, what I'd like to do and, and, and what we'll get used to is. Um, having an open discussion, one where we can all respect and kind of flow together. And that's the great part. I am very, very open and uh, less structural than the radios that we traditionally do because I want us to interact and get to know not only leadership, but also social cues and be able to interact with one another um, a little freely as well. So what's something that you guys are excited to learn over those 10 weeks? Um, that you might be looking forward to. And that will be the final. Yep. Everything but anyone else. Gotta take my word for it. Anyone? Anyone else? Man, I, I keep spacing out. What's going on? You're good. No, it's totally okay. So what are you guys just excited to learn over those 10 weeks? Just different ways people think about their leadership and how they present themselves and maybe to get some clues and tips on things we can do better or I could do better. Week six, change and leadership. I'm excited for that one. Well, Those two things are great. Up? Week one will be January 3rd and that's where we go over uh, leadership definitions. Here, I can go over it with you guys. So week one is leadership definitions, and that's where we'll kind of go over everyone's individual personal leadership definition. So I'll ask you guys, what is leadership? You know, we all have this idea of it or what it's supposed to be, but what exactly is it? You know, and we'll all kind of talk about exactly what we think leadership is for us. There's no right or wrong oh, answer. Oh man, I already got my answer. Um, we I gotta wait till January. <laughs> I gotta wait till January. Oh, that's yeah, a it's lot be great. Of it's gonna be great. Um, week two, we have managers versus leaders where we'll go over what is the difference between the two and how do they behave and what are the types of things that they do. Um, and then we'll go over specifically what do leaders do. So after we distinguish whether you need to be a leader or a manager, how are you going to be a leader? What do leaders do? How do they behave? How are they represented in the workplace? Um, and then week four is probably going to be, you know, the, the meat of, of it all is leadership theory this is where we'll go over all the different leadership styles and everyone is going to pick one and see what it is that they like um and then the next week we'll be talking about self-development and leadership so that brings us to week five and that's where we'll kind of go over where you're going to fall in your leadership style and then like atb said week six is change week seven and eight and nine you guys can find over there because i know i'm getting long-winded <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's jam-packed with a lot of stuff. And um, it's going to be a great experience, I think, for myself and I hopefully for others. 
right. Now, um, this is what I'm interested in. <laughs> Riku leaders. Things. Uh, okay, my knee. So yeah, I appreciate everyone for coming. Um, this is going to be exciting. Anyone else have any thoughts, comments, questions, or concerns before we all head out of here or adjourn the class and ring the bell? I'm just. I want to say I'm excited uh, about the whole thing and learning more about leadership. I think it's going to be amazing. Well, I got to be honest. <laughs> I didn't even know what this was about. I just saw Chef in here and I wanted to um, talk with him. So Chef, when you get done, um, I'd like to hook up with you and have a little chat about something. But I am very interested. So um, I'm excited to find out what all this is about. I think. I think. What I would like to see come out of this for me is, after 37 years in the same field, five years ago I had a van crush my legs and I'm an amputee now, and I'm trying to figure out how to start over. And after being a leader myself for quite a number of years, I'm not quite sure what direction to go in. So I was kind of hoping that something like this would help me find a direction. Probably my diffuser and stuff, or the tree, I don't know. This is all great. I'm excited to you guys. It's gonna be great. So I just hope I can help some and get it all going. But other than that, you guys, I think school is out of session. You may gather your backpacks and head to the school buses. <laughs> oh, I love that video. <laughs> school! Damn it, Red Queen, you weren't supposed to take my keys. Alice Cooper. This is going to be great. Oh. You all are amazing. Chef L, I like Rita is working for you. Boop, boop, yep. boop. All righty, you guys, I'm going to end the radio here. I appreciate you all. We'll do this again next week. Have a little, you know, powwow together, a little leadership conference. But yeah, mm -hmm. see you guys next week. Oh, um, info. Guys. I'm in the powwow yeah. too, or no? Say again? I'm in the powwow. Yeah, you can come, Tyler. All right. <laughs> yeah, we'll hey. see you next week, Tyler. All right, see you next week. Uh, yeah. <laughs>